गुड आफ्टरनून सर आई एम निके सिंह सर माई क्वेश्चन इज हाउ कैन आई बी अ मोर रिस्पॉन्सिव पर्सन रैदर देन अ रिएक्टिव वन गुड वन थैंक यू थैंक यू सो responsive rather than reactive first of all do we see that there is a difference between these two what is the difference hmm response and reaction is there a difference hmm how do you know when you have reacted rather than responded how do you know yes reaction is a ha huh, good one nice Th- that's something we can begin with so she says reaction is uh, something like reflex action so where do these reflexes come from does a little baby have reflexes yes or no yes so where do these reflexes come from they come from mother nature they come from the mother's womb you don't have to be taught reflexes they exist right in your body you bring a finger towards a little baby just let's say a month old you bring a little finger gently towards his eyes and what will he do nobody taught the baby to do this instinctively the baby knows that you know some foreign object is coming towards the eye so the eyelids have to be shut right similarly heat or cold or wetness the baby knows how to deal with it at least the baby knows that these are not nice things so i need to cry hmm the temperature is 35 not pleasant so the baby will cry or the temperature is 15 again not pleasant or the little bed is wet again it will cry how does it know all these things how does the baby know how for example to take feed from the mother's body the baby knows you don't have to educate it these are reflexes what do these reflexes exist for all these things that we just talked of do they turn the baby into a better human being do they do they no still they serve a purpose what's the purpose the purpose is physical security physical security now the hand that is coming towards the baby might be of a well meaning relative and yet the baby might resist it and cry out or turn her face away because all that is needed for physical security all that is needed for physical security and nature through its very very long process of evolution instilled these reflexes within us they now sit in our dna and once upon a time they had an important function to perform the function was physical security now what has happened is that over the last 3 4000 years mankind has progressed remarkably and very speedily but evolution is a very very slow process in the dimension of evolution 4000 years mean nothing at all so our body and the conditioning embedded in the body has remained just the same as it was 10 lakh years ago 
Now compare to 10 lakh years, how much is 4,000 years? Nothing. But all that which you call as your knowledge, your development, your civilization has come in the last 4,000, maximum 6,000 years, not more than that. But the instincts that you carry in your body, they are millions of years old. Because they are so old, so they will take time to change. Not that they cannot change, but they will take time. So internally we are still, as we said, that caveman, that old caveman with his cave-like instincts. Our instincts belong to the jungle. Because all our life we have lived just in the jungle, right? How old are we? We are millions of years old. And where were we living all this while? Where were we living all this while? In the jungle. Only recently, very very recently have we moved out of the jungle into the village or the city. So our body still belongs to the jungle. And that's where our reflexes come from. You could say our reflexes are very jungly. That's what is reaction. A wild thing. An uneducated thing. A very animalistic thing. But something very powerful because you don't even need to think about it. It sits in your body. Let's say your arm touches something hot. Do you have to think whether or not to jerk away? No. You immediately flinch, don't you? Why is that needed? Because Mother Nature said that if you think, thinking will take time. And in that time, your skin... Your arm will be damaged. So let me give you something that bypasses thought. That's what reaction does. It gives you no time to think. It just happens. It's like switching on an electric bulb. Instantaneous reaction, right? It's like pouring water over sodium. Instantaneous reaction. No time to think. Just happens. Something very chemical, very biological. That's what reactiveness is. There is no thought, no consciousness involved in this. Mind this word, consciousness. Reflex action does not involve consciousness. Reflex action does not involve thought. Reactiveness does not involve consciousness. It only involves your wild, wild cave-like instincts. Are you getting it? Now those instincts we said are useful because they help the animal survive. We were an animal, right? Living in the jungle, we were just like animals. And those instincts have surely been beneficial because they have helped us survive over all these millions of years. So definitely they have, at least they had a good use. Are you getting it? You must ask yourself, do you still need to live by the code of the animal, by the rules and the constitution of the animal? Or as evolved human beings, you need to live more by thought and even more by understanding. Someone comes and says something unpleasant to you. Do you need to just immediately unthinkingly explode as most of us do? Or can you tell yourself, I am not an animal. I can wait. I can be patient. Let me at least think over it. And if I think deeply, the thought will sublimate into understanding. Even if I can't go to that depth of thought, let me at least try to think. Let me at least postpone the reaction. Because the reaction belongs to the jungle, to the animal, to the caveman. Am I jungly? Huh? In the jungle, we didn't have haircut. To begin with. And there was no social media. We weren't brushing our tooth either. Huh? No one was wearing specs. No one wore clothes in the first place. When you have dropped all that, think of all that happens in the jungle. Someone is just pouncing upon someone else and tearing the body apart and eating the flesh. When you have dropped all that, why can't you drop your reactiveness? 
I, I didn't. And particularly women, you see, because the biological role of women has a lot to do with the body, right? The woman carries the baby for nine months and then also raises the baby for several years. Therefore, Prakriti, Mother Nature, made her even more reactive. Now that was all okay in the Kiev times. That is not okay today. Do you want to live as a body coming from the jungle or do you want to live as a free consciousness? Answer this please. And if you want to live as a free consciousness, then stop being emotionally reactive. That's the worst thing girls can do to themselves. Living from their emotional center. But you know, the force of emotion is so strong that when it rises, it feels like just the right thing. That's the problem. You can resist something if, at, if first of all it appears bad. If something appears bad, then you will even begin to resist it. But when emotion arises, it does not even appear bad. It appears just the right thing to happen. And you feel like supporting it. And the more you support it, the more you will remain enslaved. Hmm? The animal, you know, what do you call animal in, in Hindi? In Sanskrit, Pashu. That which is in Pash. Pash means slavery. That which is in Pash is Pashu. If you live by the code of the animal, you will live the life of a slave. The more reactive and the more emotional you are, the more easily you will be enslaved. Because emotion is like a button. And everybody knows where your buttons are. Anybody can come and press that button and get the desired output from you. Suppose I want to make you angry. And I know that if I utter a particular word to you, you get angry. Now it is so easy for me to control you, is it not? If I want to upset you, I just have to utter that word. You have become a machine and I know the trigger. Equally, let's say I want to make you happy, I want to please you. And that is something very frequently used, especially with women. I want to please you. I know what pleases you. I can come and say, oh, you're looking gorgeous. The button has been. And immediately you will be prepared to do me a favor. It's, all, it's not so simplistic, but you get the drift, right? If I know what pleases you, I can enslave you. If I know what displeases you, I can again enslave you. And that is the great danger in being emotionally reactive. You are predictable. And if you are predictable, you are controllable. Do you get this? Don't you see how even little kids try to fool their mothers? Mama, the food is great today. Mama, can I have 500 rupees? Now the father had refused even 100 rupees. But this rascal manages to squeeze 500 from the mother. Mama, the food is great. And the mama says, okay, you take 500. Those who have known what womanhood means have had tremendous respect for women. The topmost Hindi author Premchand, he used to say that when men evolve beyond a point, it's then that they acquire some feminine qualities. Otherwise, men remain inferior to women. And therefore, it is an even bigger tragedy that such a fine creature, the woman, such a fine specimen of evolution has lived life of continuous deprivation and slavery just because she has been too emotional and too reactive. Ready to shed tears at the drop of a hat. Why must you weep so often? Not that tears are a problem. I too weep quite frequently and it, it's, it's, there's nothing 
problematic in that. But, but there has to be some discretion. You must know where those tears are coming from. No? Remember, if there is an animal sitting in the woman, there is a bigger animal sitting in the sitting in the man and that animal is bloodthirsty and bigger and he'll eat you up he'll tear you apart and that's what he has been doing since centuries if you remain an animal the male remember is a bigger and more powerful animal the only way you can beat the male animal is by not remaining an animal, become a human being. And a human being is not characterized by her reactiveness or emotionality. The mark of a human being is consciousness, understanding, depth, freedom of thought. Animals are supposed to react. Human beings are supposed to understand and then respond. That's the difference between reaction and response. Response involves understanding. Reaction is just chemical. One molecule meets another and there is an explosion. That's reaction. You don't want to be chemical, you don't want to be animal. Whenever you find emotions taking control of yourself, resist, fight, that's the one battle worthy to be fought. The external battles can wait a little. If you can fight the internal battle well, you will find the external battles are far easier to win. Hmm? Be a master of your own mind. <laughs> 